Hey, Average Jeff here, and today we're going to talk about Chinese carbon rims. Pros and cons, and are they safe? Can you make them safe? What you need to know to protect yourself, is it worth the buy? Is it worth the risk? Is it worth the price? Let me roll the intro, and then we'll jump right into it. there's a lot of debate around should or should I not buy Chinese carbon rims and are they safe and reliable well I think that all depends on you because I think a little research needs to be done before you just go and buy your carbon rims first let me say that the majority of the carbon rims that you're going to buy from China the unbranded type are usually going to be from eBay or Alibaba or AliExpress. You know, about 10 years ago, there was probably only about 10 factories in China that actually made carbon bike parts, specifically carbon bike rims. Now, there are over 50 factories in China and Taiwan. What you may not know is some of the major bike brands actually may be buying their carbon parts from the same factory that you're buying your unbranded Chinese parts from and that's where the research comes in. So the first thing I would do or I did when I purchased these brand new carbon rims is I did a lot of research. Look for companies that have been in business for a while, look for companies that have a lot of positive reviews and look at their return policy to make sure that if something goes wrong, they're there for you. And what I personally like to do is I like to communicate back and forth with them at least a couple times to make sure they're responsive in case there is a problem. So what's the first thing you should do to make sure your carbon rims are safe? Inspect them. Make sure everything looks exactly as it should or don't take any chances riding them. The first thing that I did when I took these out of the box was went over the rim and the surface and the spokes and the nipples with a fine tooth comb. Make sure all your spokes are tight. You can do that but just hitting them and making sure you can hear the tension in them. If you hear any of these sound dead or have a much lower tone, it means it's loose and it's not tension. Which brings me to number two is another way just to make sure that your rims will be safe is I personally go with the alloy brake track. It's added safety because if for some reason your carbon would crack you still have the added security of that alloy rim to keep you going and your rim just doesn't disintegrate. Another great reason why I go with the alloy brake track is you can use the same brake pads that are already on your bike. I do not recommend using the brake pads that are supplied by the manufacturer. These are off-brand. I personally have Shimano brake pads with Shimano brakes. I'm going to use those. I'm not going to leave this to chance. Another thing is if you went all carbon, you would actually have to change the brake pads. And you would have to use or go out and buy new brake pads specifically for the carbon surface. I have rims, lightweight rims on my bike. I want to be able to use my lightweight Shimano's for climbing. And this way, I can just pop off my old wheel set and pop these on. I don't have to worry about changing the brake pads or any of that nature. Another thing that some people complain about with Chinese carbon rims is the basalt, the basalt brake track when you buy all carbon. And some people claim that in some carbon rims, Chinese carbon rims, that basalt surface will eventually wear down and then the rim is no good. And that can happen on a brand or unbranded carbon wheel. It's kind of nice just to be safe and use this alloy brake surfaces. It will definitely last a much longer time 
than the basalt carbon brake surface. And another good thing is the alloy brake surface is much better for stopping when it's wet outside. And also, you don't really have to worry about the brake surface heating up. So if you're going downhill really fast and you're constantly riding the brakes, what happens is not only will you wear down that basalt braking surface, but that will heat up. And that heat potentially can damage the rim, cause blowouts, or even break the rim. Another thing I do personally to make the rims safer is I do not use the skewers provided by the company, the rim company. What I actually do and what I did is I went out and bought my own Shimano skewers. Now it doesn't have to be Shimano, obviously. It could be any reliable. I would recommend titanium. I think what the Chinese, most of your Chinese manufacturers are gonna provide you with stainless steel. Nothing wrong with stainless steel. I just like the added safety of using titanium skewers. I like using brand name skewers because I just know they're reliable. I know they close tight and I know they stay closed. And the reliability of a brand name skewer over something that may or may not be defective just makes it that much safer. As you can see, the ones they sent me weigh 117 grams. So these are the Shimano 6800 skewers. As you can see, they weigh a tiny bit heavier than the ones that were supplied, but these are titanium. So I definitely will trust these more. Now, most people don't even know this, but most of your carbon rims are gonna be made in either China, Taiwan, Japan, or Vietnam. Most of the major bike companies purchase their carbon rims from those places and assemble them here in the US or in the UK. So what's the real question here? The real question is, how is their quality control? That's the real question because the craftsmanship is pretty much the same, meaning the same materials. They're buying the spokes, the nipples, the carbon wheels from one of the Asia companies, but they're assembling it here in the US. So it goes back to quality control. You know, if you compare the machines in most of these factories that make carbon material or carbon bite parts, they're pretty much the same. You can find videos about them out on the internet. They're using the same molds. They're using the same machines. Most of the guys have the same techniques. Yeah, there's various differences. Some do them by hand, some are totally automated, but for the most part, it's pretty much assembled the same way. So all in all, I think just putting down Chinese carbon rims is wrong. It's not just the fact that they're Chinese carbon rims that are wrong. It's the problem with quality control and that's where you need to do your research. Never buy unbranded tires. I wouldn't risk it there. Make sure if you don't have quality brakes, make sure you get quality brakes. And last but not least, test these on the road before you go crazy racing. So what I do is I put these on, I go riding by myself, I'll put on 20 to 50 miles, nice easy riding, usually on a flat surface if I can, dry surface, practice braking, speeding up, making sure I don't hear any funky noises, make sure they stay true, make sure there's nothing going on with them. And then after that, if I feel comfortable, then I'll start putting them to the test. And even when I put them to the test, I'll be careful probably for the first 100 to 500 miles until I'm really sure they're safe. But you still have to remember, you're probably paying about a quarter of the price for one of these unbranded Chinese rims than you would be for a branded version. For example, Zip wheels, the 404s, that are actually made by SRAM, if you didn't know, built in Taiwan, will run you about three grand a set. Cosmic Elites by Mavic, also Asian, $2,000 at least. Reynolds, a good set of Reynolds, another two grand. What about Head, H-E-D, and their Jet Series, 1,500 bucks. And Shimano, 
my favorite Shimano. If I was willing to spend the money, I'd probably buy those with the new Door Ace or C series. They have the C50s, the C60s, they actually have the C40s carbon wheels because I love my RS81s. But you got to dish out another 1500 bucks. I got these for right around 400 bucks out the door. 400 bucks is not bad and you can get them cheaper. I'd rather pay a little more than 400. Actually, I've seen these more expensive. So I did a research of balance of cost and reliability. Well, reliability meaning company that I purchased from has been in business for many years. They were super responsive. And the fact that I went to Powerway's hub website and they were able to get their hands on the latest and greatest hubs, it made me, it made me feel a little safer. I'm not gonna lie. So all in all, it's a judgment call, right? If you want to spend the money and be absolutely sure about the reliability, go with the brand names. Spend the money if you have it. But if you're probably a younger guy than me getting into road biking and you don't have that kind of cash laying around and you want to save some money, can I guarantee that they're going to be just as good and last just as long as if you were dropped three grand on a pair of zip wheels? No, probably not. But for an eighth, a quarter of the price, if you could get 75% there with some research, knowing that if you had a problem, you could return them and get a replacement set, I think it's worth it. Not only do I think it's worth it, honestly, I did it. I'll follow up with you and let you know how these perform and if I have any issues, but these are my second set already. My first set, I've had zero issues with at all. They perform great. And I've actually upgraded this time from the last time. So if these ride better than the versions that I have on my road bike build, send you guys a link to somewhere in the, in the corner here. I am more than happy to save that amount of money. If I can get me 25, 30 miles an hour with a pair of nice deep dish carbon wheels, I am more than happy and more than satisfied. So I'll follow up if I have any problems, but other than that, feel free to ask me any questions about these rims or the other rims I purchased or any other questions about rims because I want you at the end of the day to feel good and also feel safe about the carbon wheels that you purchased from China. See you next time guys. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly, so fly, so fly. All the bitches love me cause I'm so fly.